Crikey, you're going to need a good dancer to follow that, and it's a good job we've got one waiting in the wings for you. Next up, it's Series 2 finalist and comedian Julian Clary with his new partner, Lilia Kopilova. <laughs> now, it's been four long years since Julian was last on a dance floor, but he's back in the arms of a new partner, and he says... <laughs> ..that the chemistry between them is tangible and guarantees that when they take to the floor, sparks will fly. There he is, warming up. OK. Before we bring him out, let's take a quick look at how he fell in love with the world of dance. <laughs> So I think it's going to be really fun dancing with Julian. Oh, I'm a bit nervous. I can't wait for those comments. For me, it completely lacked any attack oh. at all. Oh, you wouldn't know a table if you sat on one. Oh. You've got lousy technique, no hip action, no line, no flow. I think the jacket and the shoes did all the work for Julian. <laughs> He's got too much foundation on. Oh. <laughs> I'm only doing this tour so I can have a go at the judges. How very dare they. <laughs> I don't want to give anything away. It's going to be magnificent. <laughs> if people bring their sunglasses with them... <laughs> yeah, that'll be good. ..might be for the best. Dancing the quick step will Julian Clary and his partner Lydia Kopilova please take to the floor. Same be said of our judges. Craig? Well, for me, it lacked any definition and line through the back. It was very straight, it was very stiff. The body language was apologetic, if not lethargic. It lacked any focused energy or dynamic. It was also very flat footed. In fact, Mr. Clary, a rather disappointing quick step all round. Oh. You miserable old trout. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Thanks for that, Craig. Arlene? Um, well, Julian, I thought it was positively vibrating with energy. <laughs> However, you must get closer to Lilia in hold and lead her round the floor, not drag her. I am a vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> it's still fine. Closer. Oh. OK. Thank Next. you very much, Arlene. Len. <laughs> Well, you know, Julian, the quick step is a bit like a garden, and the basic of the dance is the lawn, which I thought you did very, very well. And then you get the flowers, which is the choreography. So you get some geraniums, and you get a, some daffodils, and, of course, you, every garden you do need a pansy. And I must say, you know, you stood out there, you were radiant. OK, thank you, Len. 
Um, Bruno? Julian Clary unleashed in a mesmerizing and at times quite bewildering quick step. <laughs> You've got to watch that Charleston section because you keep lifting your leg like a cocker spaniel. <laughs> it's true. Okay, thank you very much, judges. Perhaps I'll enter crafts next year. <laughs> <laughs> Although, you know, if I was a Cocker Spaniel, I'd go straight into Craig's dressing room and do something very unpleasant. <laughs> uh. I should check your shoes later if I were you. <laughs> <laughs> Len, could I just say, you know, if you were to come and visit my beautiful garden, you wouldn't find any pansies there, but I do have a red-hot poker. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. It's the talk of the village. <laughs> I can imagine. Yeah. OK. Well, thank you very much for those comments, judges. Julian, it is, it is good to see you back in the, in the dance world, I have to say, with a new partner in the form of Lilia as well. Gorgeous bit of Russian totty. I'm sure we all agreed. <laughs> Nothing she won't do for a bag of parsnips. <laughs> really? She's a vegetarian as well, is she? <laughs> OK, well, your first dance of the night means, of course, we have to get some scores for you as well. Ah, uh, yes. Based on those comments, I'm going to wish you luck. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the judges have their scores. Craig Revel Horwood. Five. <laughs> Arlene Phillips. Not that bad. Seven. <laughs> Len Goodman. Eight. Bruno Tomioli. Eight. OK, thank you very much, judges. Nothing to be embarrassed about there, 28. Right, well, it was nice of them to turn up. But the thing is, what the panel don't realise is, you know, dancing is my life. <laughs> and I've never won anything. That's what comes of too much Botox, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a warning to us all, I feel. <laughs> I know, I was saying, I've never won anything in my life, and I've just got a feeling that we're going to win this evening. <laughs> <laughs> really? And I would be thrilled, you know. I could phone my mother, who's not well, and say <laughs> that at last her 28-year-old son has won something. <laughs> what? <laughs> it would mean a lot, I'm sure. Um, well, Julian... Uh, you will be back later to dazzle us some, some more. He's going to be performing a samba with Diamante Maracas. I can hardly wait. It's been a joy to have you back. Ladies and gentlemen, show your appreciation for Julian and Lilia. Thank you.